What is the most underrated city in Europe? Have you been to Burgas, Bulgaria? Here are five reasons why I think Burgas is the most underrated. Let's start with the Black Sea. Many people rave about the Italian and French Rivieras, but Burgas Bay is stunning. And that's especially true in the summer when the weather is hot and the beaches are packed. Being by the sea is so peaceful, you can smell the salty air. Just walk to the end of that pier there and soak it all in. We'll talk more about Burgas's great location later on, but just know that the Black Sea, it influences every part of the Burgas lifestyle. Starting, of course, with the food. Shapska Salata, it's one of the best salads I've had anywhere. Nuts on the street, that red dip is also one of my favorites, Lutinitsa. If there's anything that makes Burgas underrated, it's the quality of this seafood. And of course the banitsa that grandma sell. But Satsa or Sprats, it's Bulgaria's own fish and chips. It puts the British version to shame. For that matter, get any whole fish. They're all delicious. Happy. Our little guy really liked all the soups. There's a good restaurant chain called Happy. Go there and eat all the cured meats. Lukanka, filet Elena. Some of the best food is from home cooking if you're fortunate enough to go there. Or head over to Zlatna Ripka in Burgas. They have a great wine list featuring some of the best Bulgarian wines I've ever had. Which are also underrated, by the way. It's very seafood forward as it should be. You should go here. The third reason why this city is underrated is phenomenal shopping. And with the Bulgarian currency, the leva, being very affordable compared to the dollar, the euro, the pound, whatever you may pay for, the quality of the merchandise is fantastic. I've bought so many pairs of shoes here. We went on great shopping sprees for our baby. Trinkets and tchotchkes on the street are also awesome. Here's a great kids boutique, Anna. Sebastian was having fun. They even had a Seattle store for me. That's where I'm from. They have multiple pedestrian-only walkways like this one, and they're just filled with shops on all sides. And great restaurants and bars. And here's another Bonitsa shop where you can get the Bonitsa right from the window. Where to stay? Great hotel options here. And mind you, they don't have any major chains like Four Seasons, Mandarin Oriental, but they're all really quality. Hotel Bulgaria is where we stayed most recently, and we had a lovely time, and we're pretty picky when it comes to luxury hotels. We've also previously stayed at Grand Hotel and Spa Primoritz, which is right on the water. Hotel Bulgaria is more in the center of town, uh, but they're both equally good for different reasons. The pool here, though, at Primoritz is great during the summer. Also, if you don't speak Bulgarian, don't worry. They all speak English at these hotels. And most people in Burgas, by the way, actually speak English as well. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to speak a little Bulgarian while you're here. There's also a great boutique option, Villa Promenade, which is also right on the water by Primoritz. And the fifth reason for why Burgas is underrated is history and proximity to great places. Burgas is so centrally located between the historical town of Nesebr, Right above Nesebr is Sunny Beach. If you go further south of Burgas, you'll go to the great town of Sasapol. We went to Nesebr on our most recent trip, but we've been to all the others. Sunny Beach is particularly awesome during the summer, although the crowds can get a little rowdy, so keep that in mind. But Nesebr is stunning. It's a walled city on a little island, Roman architecture, very historic, little shops scattered throughout the city. It really comes alive, especially during the summer. A lot of it's closed during the winter and non-high season months, but it's still always worth a visit. These sunrises over the Black Sea never got old. So what do you think? Have I convinced you to visit Burgas? If you do go, be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought and whether you would recommend it to someone else. Thanks for watching and be sure to give us a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want more Bon Vivant content from all over the world. Cheers.
or as they say in Bulgaria, Nostrave.